This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by CFU, the power of service. The 2020-2021 UNI basketball season was not like any other in school history. We saw the emergence of some talented underclassmen, the growth and development of some veteran student athletes, and some great memories made along the way. Brad Wells recaps this unique season for the Panther men's basketball program. UNI men's basketball played eight games this season against teams that qualified for postseason play. The year started with three straight games against such opponents at the Crossover Classic. Noah Carter started the season with nine made three-pointers against Western Kentucky, a UNI school record. However, UNI lost by six and two points to a pair of NIT-bound teams in the Hilltoppers and St. Mary's before falling to Utah State, an 11 seed in this year's NCAA tournament. The first three games would be UNI's only three, with reigning Conference Player of the Year, A.J. Green, as well as backup guard Antoine Kimmins. But after scoring 98 points in a non-conference game against St. Ambrose, UNI played at Top 25 Richmond, another narrow loss to a team in this year's NIT. Conference play in the Missouri Valley Conference and the back-to-back -back games against the same opponent started with a split against Missouri State. Trey Burhau recorded the first triple-double in UNI basketball history when he finished with 10 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists on January 2nd against Evansville. The Panthers won the opener of the series against Bradley and battled tough in the opener against Loyola. The Valley Tournament champions that are an eight seed trailed the Panthers in the second half but pulled out the win over UNI's Austin Fife and his 18 points 12 rebound double double. You and I won the opener at Southern Illinois by 12 and won the second game against Indiana State at home. The Panthers also had a second half lead over Drake, an eventual 11 seed in the NCAA tournament, but Drake gave you and I its only loss of its last five games of the season. The Panthers finished with a win over Valparaiso, two wins at Illinois State, including the regular season finale, a double overtime win where Noah Carter scored 22 and Bowen Bourne totaled 21, as you and I had coach Ben Jacobson registered win number 300 in his career. You and I also won its only game of the MVC tournament, topping Illinois State a third time. And Fife scored 21, while Taiwan Pickford had 11 points, nine rebounds, before the tournament run was shut down.